Stationary harvesters are like the pre-built mind with the exception that they are built by players and that they need to be built on the resource fields. To build a stationary harvester for a salvage, we press a B to open the build menu and we come to the mine category. If we hover over the stationary harvester, we can see that it requires 150 construction materials. And if we provide it with petrol, it will give us 50 salvage for four liters of petrol every 12 seconds. To find a salvage field, we press M to open the map and we look for the screw icon. We come close to the salvage field and then press B to open the build menu. We go to the mine category and to place a stationary harvester, we left click on the icon. This will put the blueprint of the stationary harvester for scrap underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can rotate the stationary harvester. We can also see that on the back side of the harvester is a input point for pipelines that is to feed the harvester petrol through a pipeline. We can also just fuel it by hand or by fuel tanker. If we try to place the harvester too close to the resource field, we can see that the blueprint turns red. So we need to be sure that it is further away. We make sure that there is room to connect pipelines to the fuel input. We then uh, left click to place the blueprint, drive up to it with our CV and hold down the left mouse button to build the stationary harvester. When the stationary harvester is built, we hop out of the construction vehicle by pressing Q, walk up to the stationary harvester and press E to open its menu. We can see on the left side, we have the inventory or in the middle, we have the production panel with just one recipe. That recipe will use four liters of petrol to produce 50 pieces of salvage in 12 seconds. We can also see that it does not require any power, just petrol. On the right side, we see the stockpile and we can see that there is only a stockpile for salvage and there is a status panel for the petrol, which shows us how much petrol the stationary harvester currently has in its stockpile. So we brought some petrol with us in the construction vehicle. We make sure that we have a jerry can of petrol equipped in our third slot. We press three to equip it and walk to the stationary harvester, hold down the left mouse button and that starts refueling the stationary harvester. Retrieving resources from the stationary harvester works the same as with most other buildings, we press E to open its menu. And if we click on the salvage in the stockpile, it will start assembling salvage into our backpack. We can do the same thing with a vehicle. So if we hop into the CV and we press E to open the inventory of the stationary harvester, we can shift click on the salvage in the stockpile and that will start assembling salvage into the construction vehicle. To build a stationary harvester for components, we need a construction vehicle and 175 construction materials. We can see if we press a B to open the build menu that indeed that is the case. The stationary harvester for components needs to be built near a component field. To find a component field, we press M to open the map and we start looking for the not icon. We then drive our CV up to there. Now that we are close to the component field, we can press a B to open the build menu. And if we come to the mining category, we can left click on the stationary harvester. This will put the blueprint for the stationary harvester underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation. We can see that if we are too close to the resource field, we cannot place the stationary harvester. 
We can also see that on the back side of the harvester is a input point for a pipe system that is to input petrol because the stationary harvester for components uses petrol to harvest the components. So once we're happy with how it is stationed, we uh, left click, this will put down the blueprint, we drive our CV up and start hammering in the construction materials. Now that the stationary harvester is a done building, we hop out of our CV and press E on the stationary harvester. We can see that there is an inventory on the left side. There is a production panel in the middle, which tells us that four liters of petrol will result in a six components every 12 seconds. We don't need any power to make the stationary harvester work. What it needs is a petrol on the the right side we can see that there is a stockpile in the stockpile there will be components stockpiled and also damaged components damaged components can only be harvested by the stationary component harvester when it is upgraded there is also the petrol status which shows us how much petrol is in the stationary harvester right now there is none and there is one upgrade and that upgrade shows us that when we have the upgrade, the stationary harvester can harvest a damaged components. So we fuel up our stationary harvester. We make sure that we have a jerry can of petrol in our equipment. We press a three to equip it and then hold down the left mouse button to start fueling the stationary harvester. As soon as the first petrol is in, we can see that the harvester starts to work. Just as with any other building, to retrieve the components from the stationary harvester, we press E to open its menu and we can uh, left click on the components. That will start assembling the components into our backpack. We can also use a vehicle. So for instance, we can use the construction vehicle. If we drive the construction vehicle close to the stationary harvester, we can press E to open its menu and we can shift click on the components in the stockpile of the stationary harvester and that will assemble components from the stockpile into our construction vehicle. To upgrade a stationary component harvester we need 75 processed construction materials the best way to get our processed construction materials to our stationary component harvester is with the use of a, a pallet because processed construction materials are considered large items so they don't stack in the inventory of a truck so we put the pallet on the loading dock of our material transfer station that will open up the menu of the material transfer station and then we can shift click on the processed construction materials and start loading them on the pallet when we have the 75 processed construction materials on our pallet we can come to the actions panel and click the package loading area equipment this will start packaging the pallet so we can lift it up with our crane and put it on the back of our flatbed and then we drive our pallet with processed construction materials towards our stationary component harvester we drop the pallet and we start unpackaging it and then there is a lot of running back and forth with processed materials now that all processed construction materials are in the inventory of the stationary harvester, we can come to the upgrades panel and left click on the upgrade that will allow us to harvest damaged components. So we left click and we can see that we're modifying the structure. When we are done modifying the structure, we can see that the model of the harvester changed and if we press e to open the production panel we can see that we can switch the recipe from using the one that uses four liter of petrol to mine six components to the one that uses six liters of petrol to mine nine damaged components if we click the switch behind that we can see that it starts processing that recipe and when we're done 
we will have a nine damaged components. To retrieve damaged components, we come up to the stationary component harvester. We press E to open the menu of the stationary harvester and we shift click on the damaged components. This will start assembling the damaged components into our truck. We can then take the damaged components to a metalworks factory that has the refinery upgrade. So we come up to the metalworks factory over here that has the recycler upgrade. And if we right click on the damaged components and left click on submit all to stockpile, we can see it is now in the stockpile of the metalworks factory. If we now click on the switch that is behind the damaged component a recipe and we can see that it starts processing 30 damaged components into 20 normal components. To make a stationary harvester for coal we first need to find ourselves a coal field. We find a coal field by pressing M to open a map and looking for the coal icon. We then need to make sure that we have 25 processed construction materials and a CV with us. We hop into the CV by pressing Q. We make sure that we are in the operators seat. We then press a B to open the build menu and we come to the mining category. In the mining category, we hover over the stationary harvester for coal. We can see that indeed we need 25 processed construction materials and a construction vehicle. And that once we built it, it will use four liters of petrol every 12 seconds to produce a 50 coal. To place a stationary coal harvester, we simply left click on the icon for it. This will put the blueprint of the harvester underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation of the harvester. And if we look on the left side, we can see that there is an input point for a pipeline that can be used to fuel the harvester with petrol from a liquid transfer station. To place it, we need to be sure that we are not too close to the resource field, otherwise the blueprint will turn red. And if we are too far from the resource field, it will also turn red. So there is a small band around the coal field where we can build it. If we have a spot where we can build it, the blueprint will turn to yellow. We can then left click to put down the blueprint, drive up to it. Once it is done building, if we come close to it, we can press E to open it up and we can see that in the production panel, there is indeed a one recipe. On the right side is a stockpile for the harvested coal. There is a status panel which shows us how, how much petrol is currently in the stockpile of the stationary harvester, which is none, so we need to refuel it. Retrieving coal from the coal harvester works the same as with any other production building. You drive up to it, press E to open its menu, and if you shift click on the coal inside to stockpile, it will start assembling the coal into your truck. To be able to pump up water to use in different recipes, we need a water pump. To make a water pump, we need a construction vehicle and 35 construction materials. We also need to have access to a body of water where we can build the water pump in. You want to be looking at a bit of a riverbank that is a shallow or a shallow beach. To find that, we press M to open the map. And if we look around the body of water, if you find the light brown color over here, that usually is a shallow part of the riverbank. If you look at the darker bits to our north, you can see that that is rocks and that we can't build a water pump there. So you want to be looking at these types of terrain next to a body of water. To build a water pump, we hop into the construction vehicle by pressing Q. We press a B to open the build menu and we go to the mining category. If we then hover over the water pump, we can see that indeed we need a construction vehicle and 35 construction materials and that it will produce one can of water every 50 seconds. 
To place it, we left click on the icon that will put the blueprint of the water pump underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation of the water pump. And if we look, we can see that on the left side of the water pump is a outlet point for a pipeline. That outlet point is the outlet point where you can connect a pipeline that transports water down the line. To get that outlet point, we need to upgrade the water pump. So if you built a first tier of water pump, there will be no water outlet and it will not pump out water automatically. You have to retrieve it by hand. So we place the water pump somewhere in the water. We uh, left click to confirm the location and then drive up with our construction vehicle and hold down the left mouse button to build it. If your construction vehicle starts slipping, the easiest way to prevent that is to press Q to hop out. This will stop the vehicle from moving. And if we hop back in, it's not sliding anymore. Now that the water pump is built, we can see that it is working. And if we hop out of our CV and press E on the water pump, we can see that the recipe is working. We can see in the right side that there is a stockpile for just water. There is a st status panel that shows us that we can connect power. And that is only when we have the upgrade. So if we go to the upgrade panel and hover over the electric water pump, we can see that that will require 0.5 megawatts of power to produce 60 liters of water. You retrieve water from a tier one water pump the same way as you do with resources from other buildings. You come to the stockpile and you click or shift click on the icon of the resource and that will start assembling it either into your backpack or the vehicle you use to open the building with. To upgrade a normal water pump to an electric water pump, we need 150 construction materials. So make sure you have 150 construction materials in the inventory of the water pump. And if we come to the upgrades panel and uh, left click on the icon for the electric water pump, we can see that we are modifying the structure. And as soon as we're done modifying the structure, we can see that here is the input point for our pipeline and that there is a connection point for power. We come to the production panel, we can see that there are two new recipes, one recipe for 60 liters of water every 50 seconds at the cost of 0.5 megawatts. The second recipe we got is a recipe that doesn't require power but produces water 10 seconds faster than it does in the tier one water pump. 